loading oil onto a tanker in one of Libya's biggest ports. It should be a sign that the economy is back on track after the war in 2011, but the government in Tripoli has threatened to bomb the ship if it leaves port. Last night a ship called Morning Glory entered Libyan waters and docked at the oil exporting port of Sidra. Of course this is a violation of international law. The state of Libya has sent a warning to the ship and the embassy of North Korea as the ship is flying their flag and contacted its captain by phone. But the captain said an armed group jumped on the ship. He called them militia. The tanker will be bombed if it doesn't follow orders when leaving the port. This will be an environmental disaster. Rebel leader Abu Rabo al-Barasi, who's declared himself prime minister of the eastern region, dismissed the threat. We reaffirm that we do not accept any threats towards any tanker or ship that we are dealing with or are contracted with. We are not making threats and we do not want to use force. However, if anyone attacks us, we will be prepared to defend ourselves. He says the government has not met demands to share oil wealth, investigate corruption in the oil industry and to grant the region autonomy. There are current communications with our people in Fazan and our people in Tripoli and we are awaiting their responses and awaiting the formation of committees that will oversee the export and sales. And in response to a law that would give Barca 15% of oil revenues and 15% of the unity government and 70% towards projects for the benefit of Libyans. Rebels have seized three major ports since August, which has caused oil exports to drop to a record low, costing the country billions of dollars in losses. If successful, this would be the first sale of oil bypassing the central government. Prime Minister Zaydan said he was unsure why government orders to stop the ship docking were not carried out by the military. The government has been locked in power struggles with militia that helped to overthrow Muammar Gaddafi, but kept their weapons and now challenge state authority. Western nations worried the country will break apart have urged the government and rival factions to hold talks. Threats like this from the government will not help. Joanna Blundell, Al Jazeera.